Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be talking about the Steam Summer Sale 2019. So yes, that's time of the year again. Just keep in mind that I'm more into single player stuff. There will be two or three games that have a multiplayer mode or are multiplayer, so keep that in mind. These are all below $20, so the most expensive game will be $19.99 US dollars. I also added multiple currencies so you guys can compare just by watching this video. Hopefully these are accurate. You can find the links to all the games down in the description and the honorable mentions will be games that you recommend in the comments and games that I recommended before but I didn't want to repeat in this video. So first of all Batman Arkham Knight 75% off, knocking it down to $4.99 US dollars. There is also an option to get it with the season pass. I don't think the DLC is any good, at least in my opinion, to justify the price for the premium edition. So yeah, just a standard edition, a good amount of time to play it. It's still not perfect on the PC ports, there's still stutter and some minor problems but it's a lot better than before. I made tests on this version on my channel, but yeah, the gameplay is good, like the previous games, but with more updates to your Batsuit, you now have the Batmobile, but there are some sections that are weird, that you're just doing tank battles with Batmobile, but at least in my opinion, the story is interesting and it is very fun to play. Black Mesa, 60% off, knocking it down to $7.99 US dollars. It's been a while since I played this game. When I first got into it, it wasn't a paid game, it was more of a community effort. Now it's just a game on early access, and while I'll enjoy what I played of the game, they shown a trailer of the Zen update, and in my opinion it looks very very good. You can find the link to the trailer down in the description. Consider this a remaster with some changes on Half-Life 1. It feels like a much modern game, so if you don't want to play the very first one, I highly recommend recommend this one. You just have to wait a little bit for the new update, but you still have the previous levels. The USX Mankind Divided, 85% off, knocking it down to 449 US dollars. This is the latest Deus Ex game. Unfortunately, the story doesn't end with this one, and the next game is not being made right now. But what it is, and the time you spend in the game, I think that 449 is fantastic. There's a lot of upgrades to do to your character, many ways to approach a situation on a mission. You can sneak around, go guns blazing, while I don't recommend to go guns blazing, you can do it. The shooting is much better than on previous Deus Ex games. So yeah, multiple ways to approach your missions, and the game will reward you for taking different approaches. But the maps will feel a little small compared to things that are new nowadays, and they are very detailed. You have a good amount of buildings you can go into, a lot of bands to sneak around in, things to hack, and how you approach it depends on what you upgraded on your character. So yeah, at least for this price, I highly recommend this one. Dying Light, 66% off, knocking it down to $13.59 US dollars. So for this one you have the option to get the standard game, which is the one I'm recommending, and the other one has the expansions. It's called Dying Light The Following. At least in my opinion, just by getting the base game you get a lot of value out of it if you don't want to play the DLC. I didn't really care much about the story. You're doing parkour in first person, trying to avoid zombies. There's a lot of melee combat. You can find guns, but at first, at least, don't have a lot of ammo. So you're more trying to combine different things to make better melee weapons. It felt more like a mix of Dead Island with Mirror's Edge, but not as fluid, with a more refined combat on Dead Island. And this game is getting updated constantly. They improved the graphics some of the animations, the parkour, and the next one is coming on 2020. So in the meantime, I recommend you play this one, a lot of fun. Just don't take the story seriously, it's pretty ridiculous. Mortal Kombat Complete Edition, 70% off, knocking it down to 5.99 US dollars. So this Mortal Kombat is actually Mortal Kombat 9. It was called just Mortal Kombat because it was like a reboot of Mortal Kombat. This is the previous one to Mortal Kombat X, so yeah, it doesn't look as good as the new ones. But I like this one way more than Mortal Kombat X. The story is a lot better, the characters are the ones that you actually know from the previous games. But if you play Mortal Kombat 10 or Mortal Kombat 11, the combat will feel significantly better. So yeah, just for the story and the combat itself, I recommend this one. If you want to pay a little more, you can get Mortal Kombat X. They are very similar in price, but again, I personally like this one more. It's released on the PS3 and Xbox 360, and there's a lot of content here for the price. Payday 2, 75% off, knocking it down to $249 US dollars. So I love the Payday series. I played a lot of the first one and a lot of this one when it was first released. I have over 200 hours on it, and there's a ton of things they added at that time, from the first version to the one we have right now. The only problem with this game is that there's a lot of DLC, but I mean a lot, hundreds of DLCs. If you really like the premise, get the Ultimate Edition. It includes, as far as I know, all the DLC. The missions, you don't really need the DLC to play them, just that the host 
owns the DLC mission, so that's a good thing I like about this game. But I really like the shooting aspect of it. It's pretty much horde mode while you're trying to steal stuff, but you don't necessarily need to go guns blazing, you can go stealth, and there's a lot of difficulty options. You can play the first mission later at a way higher difficulty, so it can feel significantly better, since some of the maps also change the layout a little bit the second time around. But I would try to get my friends in it, usually queuing solo is not really that good, and sometimes that can lead it to be a little boring. But yeah, 249 I think is very very cheap, considering the amount of games you get out of it. And I'll talk to you again in the next game. Rise of the Tomb Raider, 20 year celebration, 85% off, knocking it down to 8.99 US dollars. So all the Tomb Raider games are getting discounted. In my opinion, this one and the previous one, Tomb Raider 2013, I think it was, are my favorites in the modern series. I didn't like Shadow of the Tomb Raider too much, but I'm recommending this one because you get a good amount of campaign plus the season pass, so you get all the DLC plus the main game. So there are some co-op missions, some other story stuff. There's one that is in the Craft Manor that it was very interesting, but it was slower paced. And there's also a VR thing that I couldn't try because I don't have a VR headset. But I think considering how good the gameplay is, plus the amount of content you get for this price, you cannot really go wrong with it. I'll talk to you again in the next game. Rainbow Six Siege Deluxe Edition, 60% off, knocking it down to 11.99 US dollars. I'm recommending the Deluxe Edition because on the Standard Edition, yeah, it's a couple dollars less, but you just get the Standard Operators. If you get the Deluxe Edition, you get the Year 1 Operators as well. So by doing this, you can unlock the main Operators and you have some of the DLC ones, but you have a good amount of Operators that are not playable unless you pay with them with currency, that is a lot of grinding, or you pay real money for them. I think this is the best balance for the game plus trying some of the good extra operators so yeah considering the amount of hours i spent into this game i can highly recommend it for just 11.99 so yeah i think this is a good deal Sniper Elite 4, 80% off, knocking it down to 11.99 US dollars. This is one of my favorite franchises because I really like sniping in video games. And this one takes it to the next level. When you shoot some critical part of the body, you get a slow-mo x-ray cam that shows you how you destroyed your opponent. So you see bones being shattered, organs being destroyed. At least in my opinion, in this one is the best x-ray cam you can find in a Sniper Elite game. Apart from that, you get to play some extra co-op stuff that you can play with other people or on your own. And those co-op modes are around five to six maps, as far as I remember, which are sections of maps you go through in the missions. So yeah, if you like sniping in video games, this game is fantastic for that. And it has one of the best Startex 12 implementations in a video game to date. And I'll talk to you again in the next game. The Evil Within, 67% off, knocking it down to 6.59 US dollars. So this is not the best game in the world. I first checked it out because it was behind one of the guys which worked on Resident Evil until Resident Evil 4 and this one feels like a more janky Resident Evil 4 trying to be more scary to say it in some way. The game can feel very rough around the edges. Considering the amount of chapters you get, I think it's worth 6.59, if you don't mind the janky movement. The story starts getting interesting at the end, at least in my opinion, and I highly recommend The Evil Within 2. It's a much better game than this one, but this one, considering the price, I think it can be a very good time. Just don't take it too seriously, and it can be brutally punishing in the higher difficulties. So yeah, there's a lot of content here for just 6.59, and I'll talk to you again in the next game. Valve Complete Pack, 92% off, knocking it down to 11.04 US dollars. Sorry that on this one I couldn't make the price converter work, but I saw that in some regions this pack is not available, so yeah, check your Steam store to see what the price is. I really can't stop recommending this pack to everyone when there is a Steam sale. For just 11.04 you get all the CS games, all the Left 4 Dead, Day of Defeat, the Portal games, Team Fortress Classic, and also Half-Life 1 and 2. So yeah, you have a ton of hours of gameplay here. I know some of these games are really, really old. If you don't own any of the Valve games or want to complete your collection, I highly recommend this one. And I'll talk to you again in the next game. Vampire or Vampire, whatever you want to call it, 60% off, knocking it down to 19.99 US dollars. This is the most expensive game I'm showing you in this list. While the combat is not perfect, I really like the premise behind it, you convert into a vampire, but you're also a doctor, and you meet people in different places, so you try to earn the trust of the characters, but you also have to survive to say it in some way as a vampire. You can consume those people as a vampire and get points to improve your attributes, but the longer you gain the trust of that person, the more valuable it will be when you consume them so it will give more points for you to improve your character. But at the same time, the more people you consume, the worse the place will be. So other people will be in less of a good mood, to say it in some way. 
So I like the dynamic of that. So yeah, the choice is up to you. That's what I like about it. They don't force you to do any of that. And I'll talk to you again in the next game. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Game of the Year Edition, 70% off, knocking it down to $14.99 US dollars. So yeah, another Steam sale, another video I recommend The Witcher 3. For just $14.99 you get the base game plus all the expansions. So for $14.99 you get a ton of exploration, combat, story, and the story at least in my opinion is super interesting. Sometimes you are just playing the game, playing a quest, and you don't realize that it's a secondary quest but it feels like a main quest for all the production value behind it. So yeah, the base game plus the expansions, $14.99. I think this is one of the best deals. I'll talk to you again in the next game. And finally, Wolfenstein The New Order, 50% off, knocking it down to $9.99 US dollars. It's been a couple years since this game, or three years since it's $9.99, but considering the length of the game and the story and the gameplay, I really think it's worth the price. I enjoyed this one more than Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus. You can really feel the power of the weapons, how destructive they are against your enemies. While the levels are linear, you can explore some of it, which allows you to find some secrets and different passages. Sometimes, it really depends on the level, but you can find some cool secrets into it. So yeah, I think for $9.99 it's completely worth it, just for the gameplay on its own and it's OpenGL so on Radeon cards it doesn't run so good, on the Nvidia cards it's a lot better. But yeah guys that's about it, those are all the games that I recommend in this sale, of course I cannot list all the games in this video, it will be over an hour long, so let me know what you purchased down in the comments, it will be interesting to see. But yeah, enjoy the sale and see you next time!